Hey, welcome back guys. This is part 12 of my Witcher 3 complete trophy walkthrough. We'll be going on with the Shrieker Witch contract to begin with. We're heading back into Crow's Perch, but we're just going to hand this in just as we head back towards the Baron. So make sure you're following that guys, the Witcher contract Shrieker, and then walk to Crow's Perch. You'll get a trophy for that one. We're going to get two or three Witch contracts finished in this video, along with two or three trophies as well which would be nice we're popping the trophies very very slowly but we are popping them yeah as you can say the wheels are turning very slowly but the wheels do turn yeah so come and talk to this guy shit or shit whatever you want to call him yep yeah, and that should hand in that contract guys shrieker and you'll pop the trophy shrieker You'll get some crowns and you'll get some XP. I'm doing an 88. And they're going to carry on his cross perch. As you make your way towards the main sort of courtyard, the pillar is going to stop you. And you want to tell him no time. I picked the top option by mistake. It doesn't really matter. That, yeah. I'm basically lying to his face. And I didn't really mean to do that. Yeah, you want to choose bottom option, no time. I always try and be honest. So I did tell him I'm going to help him, but I'm not. Uh, it doesn't really affect anything. I just... I didn't want to lead him on. So, um, yeah. Pick, pick the bottom option, guys. Carry on along here. And you get his cut. See him with the sergeant. Tell him, what is it? The top option. And then carry on, and you'll find the Baron sulking in the courtyard here. Tell him, go to talk about your family. Top option. And then top option again, I'll go. Then after that, you'll spawn a Siri on a horsey. Yeah, you'll get letter of safe conduct. You'll get crowns times 50. And crowns times 200. So, 250 altogether. Yeah, once you get control of Siri, guys, it's all the top options. At K. Morhen. I'm the exception. Coward. Yeah, basically them three. Top options all the time. And they're going to beat the Baron in the race. To be honest, I'm not really sure if you have to beat him or not. I've not really, I've not really experimented with this. I just always beat him. It's easy enough. Yeah, just follow the yellow line on the map. How could you go wrong? If you get lost on this, then... Yeah, nothing can help you. <laughs> yeah, you got a yellow line on the map. No, but it, it can be quite confusing at times, even with a line on the map. Sometimes it looks like it's... There'll be two paths, and you, it looks like it's a left path on the left, and but you'll take the one on the right. I know, I've done it. But yeah, once you get to the end, there'll be a little fight, guys, for a basilisk. A flying basilisk. Just over here, near this wagon. Yep, and kill him. He actually killed me the first time. I had to make a little edit here. Because, yeah, this basilisk killed me. It poisoned me. So just be very careful because it can poison you. Yeah, once you did get there, first there'd be another cutscene back with Geralt. Just choose all the top options again. I know where your wife is. Yes. Probably shouldn't have told him that. Well, yes. Not interested in your family story. She made a pact with the cronies. Do what you want, and we had a deal. Time you fulfilled your end. Now hurry up and get this conversation done with guys so you can head back to the Baron's wife. She's keeping the bed warm for you. Yeah, so top options again, pretty much. Here it is. Yeah, this thing, it poisoned me. So just be very careful. I know it, it's not too difficult to kill, but yeah. If you get low in health, it can poison you and you might not realise that your health is draining away. And all of a sudden you'll just magically KO. Fortunately you can't shoot it down. Siri does not does not know how to use a crossbow. That part is left out of the training. But she's very good with a sword and she can heal up herself. She knows how to self heal. Yeah, watch out for poison. And yeah, once you've brought his health low enough, you'll kill it, and then just climb up this ledge to the south, guys. Damn it. Can't leave him 
And that trigger more cutscenes. Yeah, now I chase yes, all the top yes. options again. What you do? We're even. Been to Novigrad, really? you convinced me I'll, I'll go. Doesn't look like a monster. We're not talking about his wife. Tell me how it happened, and you've got a court jester. She, it's spit. Oh, what must have I have not? Oh, Aru could be talking about his wife. Yeah, it seems to be a hot topic at the moment. Yeah, you should get a trophy after this, guys. Should be trophy number 15 if everything's gone to plan. Uh, at a minimum, if you've been doing your own things, like a bit of, bit of side exploration, you might have more trophies. But yeah, it should be at a minimum 15 trophies if you follow me accurately. Family counsellor, find the Baron's wife and daughter and keep his wife occupied. Yep, come over here. That's a side quest. Yeah, come over here now and we're doing the Fist of Fury Vela now. Yeah, come talk to the bookie. Tell me you want to fight and bet 80 crowns. Easy money. And then just beat this guy. I don't know if this guy jabs or not if you get too close. Actually no, some, some of these fighters they can jab you if you get too close and that can be hard to dodge. So, as I mentioned before, it's best to get a few hits in, dodge back, try and bait them to do massive swing so it's easy for you to counter. And get a few hits in, dodge away, bait the big swing again, counter, few hits, dodge away and repeat. Once you beat him guys, you complete that quest. Just jump over this wall to the south. There you go. Not a very good wall. Jump over it. Yeah, Fist of Fury Velen. That should be completed now. You should have got XP times 75 and crowns times 160. Yeah, so come to the signpost, guys. You. Well, what we'll be doing first. Yeah, we're going to come down here. So come to signpost, but we're not actually using it. Just come to signpost and call Roach. And they're going to head south to where I just put a marker down. To that little village to the south. And that will be Clay Witch. And then once you trigger the signpost, once you've made, you've discovered it, so you'll walk back here later. Yeah, just go, there it is, Clay Witch. Once you've got a signpost, then you need to head east to the Boatmaker's Hut. And that is just over here. You see them two question marks? There's two little buildings just to the north side of them. That's about where the marker is. So make way over there. And where I just moved across afterwards with the marker, that's where we'll be going from the boat maker's hut. There's a small island, and in the middle, there's a, a merchant we need to rescue. Because he's got some cards where... I think there's two cards. You can only get them from him. So you have to rescue him. Yeah, but make way to that marker, guys. You should get a boat maker's hut. There we go. And then carry on following this path to the east. And it'll take you to a bridge. And then when you get onto a bridge, there'll be some bandits. The gatekeepers. They will stop you for a chat. Yep, so what you want to do, you want to tell them the second option. And that'll be the peaceful solution. Second option, guys. See this medallion. Yep, they fear the medallion. If you want a peaceful exchange, always get out of the medallion. Yeah, see the medallion, that's it, and they can get back on your way. Get back on Roach. And you're just following this path to the south until you get find a signpost. There'll be some bandits in the camp, but you don't want to aggro, aggro them yet. Once we find the signpost, we're going to get off the horse and we're going to save it. Yeah, there it is. Bandits camp. Yeah, once you've got that signpost, bandits camp. Get off your horse, make sure you've got some bombs ready. You can kill all these really quickly then. There's normally, there's like 10 enemies here. But if you've got bombs, you can kill them really quick. Yeah, save your game. And um, if you come here when you're under level, these guys take ages. Yeah, come here at this point. I'm just going to run straight through the center. Get them all tore up, and there we go. Kill them loads at once. Easy. And because they're much higher level, yeah, they die really quick. Come here when you're under level. And you see how much different this is. There you go. Once you've got them all. Yeah, nice little slow motion finish there. Yeah, once you've got them all. Loot the bodies because you're looking for a key. The key to the cell. I don't know why we need it because you'll see the prisoner is not even standing inside it. 
Yeah, that's it. Key to the key to the cell. Look, he's not even inside it. And then open it, and that'll free him for some reason. And then once you've freed him, if that key doesn't appear, by the way, you need to load that save back because it used to be glitchy. I'm not sure if it's still is with the recent updates, but just in case, yeah. If you don't find the key, reload the save and kill them all again. Yeah, free him, and you want to meditate for 24 hours, and then make sure it's daytime. So yeah, free him from his cell, which. Even if he's standing beside it, guys, he's supposed to be inside it. It's just some sort of weird bug. Yeah, free him, meditate for 24 hours, make sure it's daytime, and you want to warp to Clay Witch. Go back to that nearby signpost and warp to here. Now, come over here. He should appear as an icon on this map, but he doesn't always. Yeah, this guy we just rescued. Talk to him. He'll give you Dwarven Spirit times six. And then you want to buy all the cards. Black Infantry Archer. Crinford Reefus Dragon Hunter. Put Kuma, Swiss, and Etolian Auxiliary Archers, and I'm going to beat him at Gwent. Yeah, that's where he is. That's, like I said, there should be an icon. He's he can be a bit glitchy, or he, or he was on previous patches. Maybe they've completely fixed his quest line, and he can't glitch now. I can't say for sure, but yeah, just bear in mind he can be a little bit glitchy. But you've got that save if you need to reload it. Um, but if he's not there, you might just need to meditate for a different time of day. Um, but yeah, beat him at Gwent, guys. You'll know what time of day. You, you saw what time I meditated to. So if you meditate to the same time, that should all work out the same. Yeah, then once you beat him, we're going to warp to mid cops. Yeah, warp to mid cops. We're doing the Witcher contract now. Uh, Jenny O the Woods. Yeah, even though this this is level ten contract, and we're what level? What are we? Level thirteen or something? Yeah, this enemy can still be quite difficult, even though we are a good few levels above her, because it's on death march. Yeah, she can hit you hits you quite quite hard, but she keeps like teleporting out of the way. And um, occasionally she summons some allies which heal her up. If you don't kill her quickly, they heal her back to full. Yeah, but once you're here, guys, come and talk to this guy over here. Greetings. What? Elderman Bolkol. And ask him about Zulu and Boke. Top option. And that will update the quest. This particular witch contract. I don't know why Roach is hiding behind here. I think. Roach and that NPC had a bit of a rendezvous in the corner. Yeah, this this particular Witcher contract, you have to do all this, almost all the steps of it. I mean, we did skip a, a little bit to begin with. Come on. You know, when we just ran straight to the field and we scanned the footprints without talking to that NPC first. Um, but yeah, after that, you pretty much have to do all the steps. Otherwise, this just don't update. I've tried skipping most all the steps in this, but you can't except for the first few. Yeah, so once you get to the site where it leads you to, guys, interrupt the little campfire, and then you need to warp until 9 p.m. You should burn the item, and then Jenny will appear, and she's pretty peed off. Yeah, so um, the best way to damage her is to cast. Is it Yedin? I'll just get the name of this one. I think it's Yedin. Yeah, cast that small sort of magic. Is it hexagon? Yeah, cast that. And uh, try to damage her within the Yarden area. And you'll do more damage to her then. And then once she teleports away and calls on her raves to help her, night raves, you'll kill them quickly because they will heal her. They don't have much health, you can just use your fast attacks on them to get rid of them quickly. But you want to try and use strong attacks on Jenny herself. Yeah, so when she summons her allies, just quickly use fast attacks, get rid of them quickly, and then focus back onto Jenny. You don't need to use Yadan on her allies, just on her herself. And bombs don't really work on her, guys. I've tried all of our bombs. Yeah, none of them really seem to do anything, unfortunately. So you've got to keep this up, guys. Yadan, attack, attack. Just watch out for your health. There she goes again. Remember, they do heal her, so you want to try kill them as quick as you can. If you don't know where they are, just look on the minimap and you'll see all the little enemy icons on the minimap. It's a nice, quick way to identify exactly where they are. 
Yeah, rather than just keep rotating the camera looking for them, look on your minimap and you'll see exactly where they are. And, yeah, got her. Eventually, you'll get her. Just loot her corpse where it sort of perished. You get a relic, saw that relic we got, a nice relic weapon. Yeah, then just head back to um, to mid cops and report a quest into the Elderman. Tell him you got rid of Jenny off the woods, you'll get XP 192, crowns 179. And with that, you should be level 13. Yeah, this video is quite short. I didn't realise until I started editing it. But the next one could be a lot longer, guys. So the time we've lost in this video, it may be put into the next one. When I came to editing this part, the um, video is 32 minutes long. I edited it down to 23 minutes because, you know, speed and look won't match this. And there's a horse race in this one as well. Um, but the, the next video, part 13, that's an hour long. So, I'm hoping I can bring it down quite a bit, but we'll see. Maybe there's a lot of great matches in part 13. Can't quite remember. But yeah, once you spoke to him, guys, and completed that contract, come over to the notice, um, the signpost, and that's the side quest following now. Basically doing a race again. Yeah, come to the signpost, and warp all the way back to High Watch Square, back in Overgrad. Yeah, side quest doing now is uh, race the great... Erasmus Vegelbird Memorial Derby. Couldn't they shorten that down a little bit? Like just the Great Derby? Don't know. Uh, but come and talk to your armor guys once you get here and sell some of your goodies. Yep, I just remembered I need to equip. See if there's anything better I always forget to do. Same with the armor. So, like I keep saying, guys, do not sell any relic weapons. Relic secondary weapons are okay. Yeah, always get rid of your secondary secondary weapons. Yeah, but your relic main weapons, like your silver swords and your steel swords, keep them. Yeah, keep all them, guys. I'll probably wait until we get the main story done. Once you get the main story done, at that point, I'm probably going to turn around in one video and say, Right, right friends, this is what we need. For later, you're going to need two amethyst dust, you're going to need two... Uh, ruby dust to sapphire dust for example you're going to need two demiria tm ingots blah 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 yeah at one point put like i say after the main story i'll tell you exactly what we're going to need for later so you know you can make a note of them maybe i'll put a note in the description as well and as long as you've got them you can just do whatever you want with any other item just make sure you always keep the materials on you for crafting later yeah demiria tm ingots they cost like a thousand to buy so it's going to be really helpful to just have them ready guys and um, using these relics if you sell any of your swords that are relics they're mega expensive to buy back mega expensive if you sell something for like 400 it's going to cost like probably 3000 to buy back yeah this guy is, is a complete rip off so. kind of like a, a game trading shop where you sell a game for like you trade a game of 10 pound and then they sell it for 40 yeah, a bit like this guy. Thanks for the yeah, after you've sold them all to him, guys, come round to the objective and talk to Carlos. Tell him I'm in. And then I'll begin the race, guys. I've speeded it up. Yeah, this this is quite a long one. Takes like two and a half minutes. But you've got two opponents here. Just try to keep an eye on the line on the minimap. Make sure you don't veer off. I think I did have to retry this because I accidentally took the wrong path. But I took the wrong path literally for about five steps and the race automatically can it automatically stopped and I lost. Just from going off going off the track for about five steps. So yeah, just be very careful. If you do fail it, just reload a recent safe and try it again guys. You need to win this. You need to win all the races. And after you've done it, you'll win you'll win. Crowns times seven hundred, crowns times forty. I don't know why it gives you them two different amounts. Why can't it just be 740? And you also get Racing Horse Blinders. 
yeah what we're doing now guys is witch contract and elusive elusive thief that one just here you should have done part of the objectives already earlier if not just go and talk to that guy first um what's it sylvester in the marketplace nearby yeah so follow that quest contract guys and elusive thief come over here Where are you once you come through a gate you're going to get stopped tell him you don't have a pass and then a kind fellow will come and tell him that you do yeah read the, read the notes you get and um, just over here guys there'll be some things you can examine yep yeah, this is where I am so you want to examine that item there Looks like the imp dropped some loot. and you'll find out Geralt will say that the imp dropped some loot and then come over here you should which essentially see the markings on your wall. You want you want Geralt to comment that the imp has um, escaped into the moat. Once you said that, this door over here should open. If it's not open, then it's because you've not examined something open. back there. Interesting. And then come in here, guys, and Better. examine the note on the table. Well, well. Our imp's at least literate. They, yeah, you'll get a short letter. Make sure you read it. Once you've done that, go upstairs. Explains a lot. Matters. And examine this dirty laundry on the floor. Just careful because there's skid marks on them. So be careful where you're picking it up. Yeah, examine the dirty laundry. And then come back outside. Get your bombs ready. You kill this guy really quick with um, Northern Wind and Grape Shot Bombs. Literally just lob two of them, two of each of them, and they'll be dead. Yeah, come over here. Talk to the temple guard. Tell him he's got a nice scent. Yep, and um, that'll make him horny. Yeah, I'm gonna run away or get scared. Yeah, but chase after him. Really wanna see. And he will re reveal his true self. That's it, and then she's north and wind, freeze him in place, and you scrape shot bomb, and then do it again, and he'll be dead. North and wind, grape shot, north and wind, grape shot, you see. And you'll get a trophy for this one, guys. The Doppler effect resolve the Doppler problem in Novigrad. Trophy number 16. Yep, after beating him, you want to choose top option again. Gotta leave Novigrad. What's it top option or what's it the bottom one? But yeah, choose that option, guys. Gotta leave Novigrad. No excuses. We don't want to kill him. Ah, uh, yeah, what's the top option? I just had to pause and rewind that just to check. I wanted to make sure I, I listened to the right number dialogue choice. I got a text right. Just want to make sure it was choice number one. Yeah, so afterwards, come back here, guys, to where the quest wants you to report it in. Meditate to take time if you need to and Sylvester should appear. If he doesn't, just rotate the camera around and he should appear. There he is, he's popped up now. Greetings. There you go, talk to him, tell him the job's done guys, you'll get XP196 crowns, 91 and like I say, that trophy, the Doppler effect. And with that guys, that'd be the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.